Well, it's great to have a question on Ryman. It's probably my, uh, one of my favorite companies in the world, if, if not the, the, the favorite. And it's because they just, uh, they have the most incredible mission uh, that I've ever come across. Uh, I mean, we were talking to, about Trupanion earlier, and I think care of, of pets is, is a pretty important mission. But Ryman's mission is taking care of, of mum and dad when they can no longer take care of themselves. So they, they build and operate uh, retirement villages. And it's a business which across the world is completely dysfunctional. Um, you know, the, the story of the retirement industry is that after the Second World War, um, there was a sort of new prosperity in the West. And, you know, previously when old people got old, you know, probably they weren't taken particularly good care of. Um, but in this sort of new prosperity, hospitals were being built. And of course, old people were then being taken into hospitals when they were, um, when, when they couldn't take care of themselves. But that, that didn't work because they weren't getting better. They weren't going to get better. They were, you know, approaching end of life. So they couldn't be, they couldn't stay in the hospital. It was too expensive. They had to go somewhere else. So what effectively has happened in the world is these, you have these sort of institutions that get built, which are kind of like a hospital in that they take care of the physical well-being of the person, you know, so assuming it's well run, it's sort of clean, uh, there's a nurse on hand if you have a problem, the room is taken care of, you get changed, you know, all of the kind of the physical needs uh, are well can taken care of. But nothing is done to make life enjoyable and worth living. There's no nothing done for the spiritual side of life. And that's why you know, anyone with an older relation, probably everyone here, knows that the very last thing an old person wants to do is to go into a retirement home because they know that's basically game over. So they kind of push it to the very last possible minute when they've had like the 10th fall and, um, uh, you know, when it's basically the end and then they go in and they've more or less given up already and typically will die quite soon afterwards. Um, and Ryman has sort of taken this sort of paradigm and created a sort of like a Disney type experience um, in their villages where the villages are fun places where there's a lot of love, where there's a lot of friendship, where there's a lot of things happening and it's just I mean, if you visit one of these villages, it's one of the most moving experiences you, you, you can imagine. Um, so I think it's one of the most incredible businesses I've ever came, come across. And, you know, your question was about interest rates. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, obviously there's a need for old people to be taken care of. I mean, it's probably one of the single biggest unmet needs in our society today. So irrespective of what inflation does, in, infl uh, interest rates do or whatever, this is a business which I think will we'll, we'll be doing, doing very well. But um, as it happens, uh, I think it's actually also exceptionally well suited to inflation and high interest rates because, you know, I mentioned earlier on that uh, the best type of business to own is a capital light business uh, in an inflationary uh, scenario. Now you might think, hmm, Ryman doesn't sound very capital light. It builds these huge, villages. They cost billions of uh, New Zealand dollars uh, to build. But the super interesting thing is, once they're built, uh, Ryman retains ownership of the village, um, but sells an occupation right to the residents. So the, the resident pays money um, to Ryman uh, and in return gets the right to, to, to stay in the village for, for however long uh, they need to. So basically, um, Ryman participates from any appreciation in the value of that asset. In fact, that's one of its main sources of earnings, but doesn't carry the, doesn't carry the capital. Uh, the resident carries the capital. So um, I think it's an, an ideal business for an inflationary scenario.